have a moment or two to listen to what we have to say to each and every one of you. It concerns our postal system. Our lifetime friends, as all of you know, they've never failed us through the years. Through driving rain, sleet or snow, but now they've got a problem. And what are they to do? The answer, my friend, is very simple. It's up to you to see them through. Well, back in the days of the 13 colonies, cry was freedom and how to defend it. Mailing a letter wasn't much trouble. There weren't too many places to send it, but now it's a different story. They've got more mail than ever before. It's stuffed in bags, stacked on shelves. There's hardly room for anything more. There's been a mail explosion. They've got a terrible load. You've got to help them right away before the U.S. Post Office It wasn't so long ago that communication was a simple act. But the range of the human voice is limited. So, man's ingenuity found ways to bridge distance. He invented writing. And typographical errors. To carry messages across vast distances, man developed roads, highways, Onions, calluses, and a rare assortment of aching limbs. Yes, up until recently, communication remained a simple act. What matter if it took two weeks to go from New York to Atlanta, over a month to St. Louis? If the letter from Uncle Ben arrived a day or so later, nobody fussed. The times were tuned to wagon wheels, footpaths, and the puff of wind against sail. Distance was measured by weeks and months. Everything was a far time off. Then, slowly, the country got up steam. Commerce shook off its sea anchor and headed westward all the width of the continent. There was a new idea, speed. Everything was coming up to date in the Kansas cities and the Portlands. Communications became the most vital aspect of our economy. The post office became the prime artery of commerce. For a time, the department was perfectly able to keep up. If the mail piled high, put on another piece of equipment. And if that didn't do the trick, add a few more clerks or a flock of carriers. But by World War I, the post office carried more advertising in a week than all the newspapers and magazines could carry in a year. It was the country's bill collector, check deliverer, errand runner. The volume of mail delivered leaped to 20 billion. By 1948, it had doubled, 40 billion. This year, doubled again, nearly 80 billion pieces of mail. Literally, the post office stands to be swamped, overwhelmed, drowned in a sea of mail. Where do we go from here? Patchwork, piecemeal solutions based upon obsolete transportation routes will not work. The answer has to be as new as the challenge is new. And the post office has the only logical answer. Zip code, mail distribution via the straight line, always the shortest distance between two distant points. Zip code, five trailblazing numbers like this one, launch every piece of mail with space-age speed and precision. Now that's easy to say and it sounds just fine, but let's put this question right on the line. What is the zip code? A postal quirk? What does it do? How does it... If you'll lend an ear, we'll be glad to explain how the zip code eases your postal pain.
First, it tells me which part of the nation your letter will find its destination. Since the country's divided into ten big sections, each with a number to establish direction, your letter has even departed. We've already got it started. <laughs> The next two digits go hand in hand to a major post office over land. Since each big section has town after town. We need these numbers to really narrow things down. We've got the section, we've got the city. Just two, two more, more numbers, numbers and we're sitting pretty. pretty. These last two digits are really specific. They're your local post office number. Terrific! <laughs> What a system, as you can plainly see, just five little numbers, quick as can be. But if you have a question, or you have a doubt, if you're still not sure what the whole thing's about, just always remember, zip code defined means city to city in one straight line. But don't take it from us. Don't take it from me. Try it yourself. You'll see. It's a better deal than you get from any other post office department. And those zip code numbers will help clear up two of the major problems that give the post office department fits. See? The dead letter office. Have you ever asked yourself this question? Why do postal clerks get indigestion? There are many reasons. I won't bother to list them. It's all the stamp glue we take into our systems. I guess that's as logical as a man could get. But that's not the reason for their stomach upset. It's from trying to read the American hand, illegibly written throughout the land. This letter will prove exactly what we've said. The name of the city simply can't be read. Oakdale. Oakfield. Oakhurst. Oak Park. Oakwood. Tuscaloosa. Tuscaloosa? Tuscaloosa! Now you see what we mean, if the writing's no good, this letter might as well be carved out of wood. And if you think bad handwriting is only hard on your eyes, just try this problem on for size. I got a letter here for somebody from Springfield. Springfield? I'm from Springfield, Massachusetts, and the bell in your bell. There's no place I'd rather be. I'm from Springfield, Pennsylvania, and there's been a mistake. This letter is apparently for me. I'm from Springfield, Arizona, and I want you to know I've been waiting for this letter since a weekend ago. Oh, what you did it do? To send a letter my way when I'm from Springfield, USA. I have looked into this problem, and I'm telling you, boys, you're angry and you have a right to be. There are very many cities with identical names. 24 Springfield causing postal delays And they're all abbreviated with a two-letter phrase Oh, what did you do to send a letter my way When I'm from Springfield, USA? There's a Springfield R and a Springfield O A Springfield Flaw and a Springfield Mo A Springfield Ill and a Springfield Id A Springfield Chi and a Springfield Sid There's a Springfield Nib and a Springfield Dog There's a Springfield Nid and a Springfield Pa There's, There's a Springfield, Springfield Or and a Leaven Four Zip code is bringing the mail explosion under control. It is as up to date as the computer, as timely as the fantastic zip code scanner, electronically reading zip codes and sorting the mail. It is a success. But to make zip code work, you must use it. Remember, you can put zip in your postal system. The Postmaster General of the United States, the Honorable Lawrence F. O'Brien. One way we can measure the success of our zip code program is by the number of foreign countries who send us their postal specialists to study our system and to determine how much of it is adaptable for their own purposes. They come because of a simple fact. Zip code works. It works for the post office. It works for all who use the mails. Small business, bulk mailers, or private citizens. To get any zip code numbers you may need, including your own, just call your local post office. You heard what we said. Keep it all in your head. There's no better way. You zip code every day. You know you gotta have a zip code on the envelope. A zip code so you won't get trapped at home. Everything will be all right when you get faster 
service and a lower cost. Fewer mistakes, no time ever lost. A lot less handling along the way. No damage for you to pay. You know you gotta have a zip code. Oh, yeah, you're out beyond the clock. A zip code, oh, yeah, you know you're worth a pound. A zip code, oh, yeah, you're on and we're down. And everything will be all right when meet a fella called Mr. Zip. What he can do for you will really make you flip. So, so if you have any further postal demands, we're gonna leave you with his hands. You know you gotta have a zip code. Yeah, you gotta have a zip code. A zip code, yeah, you gotta have a zip code. A zip code, yeah, you gotta have a zip will be all right. And now, my friend, we'll say so long. We hope in our zip code song. We told you everything we know. But it's up to you to make zip code go. You know you gotta have a zip code. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Uh, uh, a zip code. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, yeah. Hey, hey, yeah. A zip code. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, yeah. Hey, hey, yeah. And everything will be on. You gotta have a zip code. Hey, a zip code. Broadcasting from Melrose Park, Illinois, this is the Dumas Network.